fitting of a straight line train by the method of least squares problem. The average rainfall during 2010 to 2017 was recorded as given below. Given year and rainfall in centimeters. Fit a straight line train by the method of least squares. Estimate the rainfall for the year 2018. Third subdivision. Plot the actual and trend values on the graph. Let's now proceed with the solution. The equation to fit a straight line trend is given by y c is equal to a plus b x. We know that this is the regression equation y on x. Here, the dependent variable y denotes the trend values. A denotes the intercept of y. B denotes slope of the trend line and the independent variable x denotes the time period. The values of A and B can be found using the following equations called the normal equations. Normal equations. Given by Summation y is equal to n a plus b into summation x. Let this be equation number 2. And summation x y is equal to a into summation x plus b into summation x square. Let this be equation number 3. Here n denotes number of years and x is equal to x minus origin. By suitably choosing the origin, we can make summation x is equal to 0 in the normal equations. Therefore, when Summation x is equal to 0, we get the following. When summation x is equal to 0, equation 2 gives summation y is equal to Na, from which we get A is equal to summation y by N. Similarly, when summation x is equal to 0, from equation 3, we get summation xy is equal to b into summation x square, from which the value of b will be summation xy divided by summation x square. Therefore, let us use this formula to find the values of a and b. Let's now proceed with the calculation. First write the given year and denote it as x. Next write the rainfall given in centimeters as the variable y. Write all the values and find its total. Next step is to find capital X. We know that x is equal to x minus origin. Here n is equal to 8. That is, we are given even number of years. Therefore, let us take the average of the 4th and 5th year as the origin. That is, the middle years. Average of middle years will give you 2000. 13 and 14. So, let us take the average of these two. 2013 plus 2014 by 2 will give you 2013.5. Let us take this as the origin. Hence, capital X will be X is equal to X small x minus 2013.5. Let's now find all x values. 
the first value will be 2010 minus 2013.5 which will give you minus 3.5 similarly let's complete all the values next is 2.5 then we get minus 1.5 next minus 0.5 next 0.5 1.5 2.5 and 3.5 let's now add all these values and we get summation x is equal to 0 the next step is to get x square that is minus 3.5 square which will give you 12.25 next minus 2.5 square which is 6.25 so let's complete all the calculations third value will be 2.25 next one is 0.25 again 0.25 next will be 2.25 6.25 and finally 12.25 so adding all these we get summation x square is equal to 40 Let's now proceed finding x, y, x into y, minus 3.5 into 11 will give you minus 38.5. Similarly, let's complete all the calculations. Next value will be minus 32.5. The next one is minus 22.5. Fourth value will be minus 5.0 next 7.0 next 25.5 next value will be 37.5 and finally we have 70 so now adding all these values we get summation x y as 41.5 so with these values let's find the values of a and b a is equal to summation y by n which gives you 115 by 8 which is equal to 14.375 and b is equal to summation xy divided by summation x square which is equal to 41.5 divided by 42 this gives you the value as 0 0.988. Substituting these values in equation 1, we get the equation of the trend line as y c is equal to a plus b x. A value is 14.375 plus b into x b is 0 0.988 into x let this be equation number 4 the next step is to find trend values so we have obtained the trend equation as y c is equal to 14.375 plus 0.988 into x by substituting various values of x we can find all the trend values let's now proceed finding the trend values 3.5 corresponding trend value will be yc is equal to 14.375 plus 0.988 into minus 3.5 so on simplifying this will give you 10.917 similarly when 
x is equal to minus 2.5 its trend value will be y is equal to 14.375 plus 0.988 into minus 2.5 so when simplifying this will give you 11.905 so proceeding this way we can get the remaining trend values and let's enter all these values in the last column of the table so the first value is 10.917 second value is 11.905 third value is 12.893 Fourth one is thirteen point eight eight one. Next one is fourteen point eight six nine. Next we have fifteen point eight five seven. Then sixteen point eight four five, and finally we have seventeen point eight. Three, three. Now, adding all these values, we get summation y is equal to one one five. Note that these two values will be same. So, so far we have completed the first subdivision, that is fitting a straight line trend by the method of least squares. Let's now proceed with the second subdivision, namely estimate the rainfall for the year two thousand eighteen. Let's now find out the rainfall for the year 2018. Second subdivision is to estimate the rainfall for the year 2018. When x is equal to 2018, capital X will be 2018 minus 2013.5 which will give you 4.5 now substituting x is equal to 4.5 in equation 4 we get y c is equal to 14.375 plus 0.988 into 4.5 so on simplifying this gives you 18.821 that is the estimated rainfall for the year 2018 is 18.821 centimeters so we have completed the first two subdivisions let's now proceed with the third subdivision Plot the actual and trend values on a graph. Let's now plot all these values in a graph. So, first step is to mark the values on the x-axis and the y-axis. First write the given year on the x-axis. And y value which is rainfall here in the y axis and then plot the actual values so that we get actual line and plotting the trend values will be getting trend, trend line let's now see how to get the actual line for 2010 the data is for 2010 the corresponding y value is 11 2010 it is 11 next 2011 it is 13 2011 it is 13 next 2012 we have 15 2012 it is 15 next 2010 y values the y values 10 2013 it is 10 next for 2014 we have the value as 14 marked here then for 2015, we have the value as 17. For 2016, it is 15. 
and for 2017 the corresponding y value is 20. So after plotting all these points join them using a scale which will give you the actual line. Let's now proceed finding the trend line. So for 2010 the corresponding trend value is 10.917. So rounding up to one decimal place we can consider this as 10.9. So plot the value for 2010 as 10.9. So we get 2010 y value as 10.9. 2011 it is 11.9. 2012 it is 12.9. 2013 it is 13.9. 2014 it is 14.9. And 2015 it is 15.9 2016 it is 16.8 16.8 here then finally for 2017 we have 17.8 now join these trend values using a scale we get the trend line